The tricks are gearing up to rewrite the leaked maths and physics paper too. There has been a backlash to the basic education department's decision from some teachers' unions. Satu is planning to go to court to stop this process. Joining me now is Guazulu Nadal Education MEC Guazim Shengu to share the province's reaction. Um, Mr. Shengu, thank you very much for your time here on ENCA. Now, um, with the fact that uh, this is our very first national rewrite, um, how is the KZN Education Department going to cope? Well, uh, we are doing everything um, in our powers to make sure that uh, we cope with the implementation of this decision. It has indeed been a very difficult decision to make, understanding uh, that um, there are a number of learners, obviously, who did not uh, have access to the to the leaked papers. But unfortunately, we had to make an election between um, losing the credibility for the entire examinations or deciding to rewrite uh, these two papers. The class of 2020 has gone through a very strenuous and difficult year. And uh, in our minds, what was guiding us was to protect the last thing that they have, which is the credibility of the examination, so that uh, next year they can go through to the tertiary institutions. So as the province of course, Runa Chan, uh, we will be, from this week, engaging the rest of the stakeholders, including the, the teacher unions, uh, the SGPs, and other stakeholders in the sector, to make them understand the, the basis for, 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 for the decision that we have made as the Council of, uh, of MECs in, in, the, in the country, and also uh, lobby them to be part of the, of the, of the mobilization uh, for parents as well as learners to understand also that it was important, difficult as it was, to, to make sure that we protect the credibility of the examinations. All right, Mr. Mshengu, um, you've seen that uh, the teachers' unions, for instance, are reacting not so favorably to this decision by the Basic Education Department. Um, how do you feel about their decision to take the department to court? Well, I, I hope that uh, it will not end up in court. Uh, we, 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 we need to have a painstaking engagement uh, with the teacher unions, which has always been the hallmark of our relationship with the, with the unions. Uh, the SGPs and other uh, and other stakeholders in the sector. Yes, at time will depart from different positions, but what is important is that uh, most of the time we'll find each other and be able to come up with the collective decisions. There have been a number of times where teacher unions will will will, will probably first reject our our decisions as the as the as the Department of Education of Basic Education. But when we get closer to each other to engage. Um, we, we, we then find each other. I must, do, I must indicate that uh, there were engagements uh, at a national level that took place prior to the decision that, uh, that was taken, and uh, the unions were, were, were clear in their, in their position that uh, they, they, they do not support the rewrite. But uh, at the end of the day, we had to say what is in the interest of the, of the country, what is in the interest of the learners, given the fact that also Umalusi had indicated that it will not quality assure these papers, which was going to be disastrous not only for the Department of Education but for the class of 2020 uh, as a whole. So I do believe that uh, we're not going to reach a state where we, we go and ventilate these issues in court. We will be uh, engaging uh, one another and we will fight each other for the benefit of our country and the students, uh, I mean, and the learners of, of, of 2020. Mm. Now, Kizaren, Mr. Mshengu, is a province with a lot of uh, pupils in rural areas, for instance. Um, have they been coping, looking at the prelims, first of all, and will they cope with having to study again and rewrite uh, between the 15th and 17th of December? I, I can say that uh, they have been coping, obviously, under difficult uh, circumstances. And thanks to the dedication of teachers, uh, the parents, as well as the learners themselves, who have had to study for seven days a week, uh, at least starting from October, to try and cover the time lost and make sure that they finish the curriculum and do the revision on, on, on time. We have been supporting the learners uh, from the department side by everything that uh, we had in our, in our means. And um, again, with this decision now taken, uh, we are meeting uh, tomorrow as, as, as the Department of Education. To, to devise a plan to say how then do we support the learners who are going to be rewriting the paper. And as I said, uh, with, the, with, the, with the teacher unions, the parents and the SGPs, we are quite, we are quite confident that uh, there won't be so much damage that will be done in terms of the confidence of these learners. At the end of the day, it's about protecting the entire uh, examination, but also the future of these learners, because if Umanus, as I indicated, uh, refuses to quality assure the leaked papers, 
uh, there will be no learners who will be able to uh, go to the university and present uh, the math, the credible math for math and science. And that will be disastrous for, for the learners and again for the future of our country. So again, it's back to, 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 to work as a Department of Education to try and prepare for the learners that will be rewriting math and science. All right, thank you very much. That is Guazulu Natal Education MEC Guazim Shengu uh, from, from KZN. Now